Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saika and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier per mission. I might want to interest you in the date. We are more than one year into the actual campaign. Month number 14 now and we are just wrapping everything up. Um, as you can see we have a somewhat stable situation going. The only problem is uh, that uh, this little sucker here has full knowledge and will probably continue harassing us. Which, much to my displeasure, we can not do much against it. So she very slowly gets, uh, gets her plant activity back. He's not, he's not going to attack us. That is great. Let's hope we can somewhat get rid of the um, major breakthrough. And this here is our uh, beloved, now completely new and absolutely standard that we're never going to change. Remove one block of the avatar progress at the end of every month. Yes. Yes, please. This year, by the way, all resource rewards are doubled from uh, scanning. Is what is keeping us so healthy uh, with all of the supplies. Let's take a very short look at our covert actions. Reduce avatar progress. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Mm. Yeah, and the rest will be okay. Scientists could be useful, but not absolutely needed. As long as we keep the Avatar project in Bay, everything is fine. Strategic resource located. Good. We're good on Intel again. Avenger plotting new course. Continuing to get some supplies here. Together we have succeeded in our task. And even more Intel. Good job. So first things first, mm. reduce avatar project. This here is a really helpful one, the resistance order. I think that's, that's good. Dodge plus nine is good as well and it's a very short cooldown. Hmm, you know what? Let's go for the dodge because it does not automatically, I, or we could counter the uh, wounding chance. Six days is fast. After we're done with that, we're going to reduce the avatar project. There is a moderate chance of wounding. And then we take a look whatever else um, can be done. Good. Rehabilitation done. Roby has all his negative traits removed. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we got a few um, engineers open. We simply don't need them at the moment. Can't really build anything here. Nothing that is useful, at least. Okay. Moving on. Very nice, plus nine dodge in a short amount of time. Exactly what we wanted to see. How many days do we have left open? 13. That's eight and that's nine. 
I still want to do that here. The health is uh, extremely helpful. That's exactly what we need. Plus, it's a good resistance order. And so far, we're okay with the Avatar project. Unlikely that it fills up completely. Strategic resource located. Avenger plotting new course. Let's see if we can buy something at the market. There we go. So we could go for another Alerium piece. I think we're good on Alerium. We could get a scientist for only 45 intel. Which is almost a bargain if you think about it. You know what, I think I'm going to do that. Saves us some time. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Good. In terms of further research, I think... I think we should go with the gatekeeper. Well, that gives us the highest uh, Psy shell. This I mean, why not? Let's go. All right, gaining some more intel. This here will be a mission uh, with a with a chosen in it. Since we are rescuing from a vehicle, there is a chance that we are that we're going to be successful. Hundred intel and an engineer. I can see that. We don't need the engineer really, but the hundred intel is nice. How much longer until she's done with her? Oh yeah, 15 days. Uh, that's a long time, so... Thanks, but no thanks. She will need to get... Uh, uh, she will need to move into the mission as a crazy person. I'm sorry, our Reaper will not get any medical attention. I like the weapon. That'll be six to seven. Same damage as before because we don't have, uh, we did have an upgrade on our uh, laser weapons, which made them as strong as normal plasma weapons, but we can still get the plasma breakthrough. All right, and here we go. Look at that. We just got our stun answer with us. Stun answer will help us to make this here a successful extraction because, first of all, checking that there is no one down here. No, there isn't.
All right, easy enough. We just got to get over here. Good. The idea is to carefully go and open that car. Still got plenty of time. This here shouldn't trigger anyone. Look at you, these sleazy little bastards. I will go. Could hit them all, but it would kill the VIP. We don't want that. We're simply waiting for now. Might be spotted out. Yep, there we go. Well, look at you. All right, moving over. Let's pull the rest of these clowns. Moving to hit the codex. Failing, of course. Let's get rid of the codex. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, I don't think that we're going to rescue... That we're going to rescue the uh, engineer now. Unless I can... Somewhat open the side of the car without hacking it. All right, stun lancer's burning, but he doesn't give a damn about it. Still doesn't care. He 
he maybe cares a little bit now. You know, there is nothing to gain in here. Except remote starting and killing one more. It was a valiant attempt. Problem is, they camped the um the vehicle just way too much and we got spotted out because the ai cheated and went into our direction it's not the end of the world guys uh, even if we're losing most of these missions there's still always something that we that we get out of them yep we did not get 100 intel but we will get um, intel through other means don't worry I, if there is something to learn from this campaign is you need to have a positive mindset even if you're losing missions because that will happen eventually in any campaign keep a calm head we're still absolutely fine okay psylab upgrade yes please Got Klaus Schaefer working here, and who? Some of our OG crew, some soldiers who are still rookies, can Edgar Allan Poe and Zirkim. Yeah, there we go. Both of them can become psionic, uh, psionically trained soldiers. Something that I haven't played with in a long, long time. Sabotage failed. That is perfect. And we got Lightning Strike. The mobility in the first two turns certainly helps to be even faster. The extra health on top of it is very good. There's a moderate chance of getting wounded. But I think that's it it just is the way it is eight days and we should be fine okay so that's going to reduce the avatar progress a little bit more i think we're currently fine You know, I think we could get a facility lead out of this. Or some intel. The reason why I want to have the facility leads is once we have enough of them, we can sweep all of uh, the facilities off of the planet. And that will give us com uh, full control. Once that happens, we're absolutely stable. And here we go. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. You know, Bradford. I think we're going to be all right.
Ooh, there is our potential target. Come a little bit closer, guys. They just need to come a little bit closer. Moving to designated position. Roger, I got my eyes on. Are you effing kidding me? Okay, moving over here. Can they please come a little bit closer? And why is... It seems to be very difficult to get line of, uh, line of sight on... On the shield bearer. Finally. I bet you now they are going to move because I got line of sight on him. No, they aren't. So that's an option, which means this here is going to be our evac spot. We could get another hack out of it. Uh, no. Accessing system. We've been spotted. All right, here we go. Not exactly what I was hoping for. But we get some intel out of it, so never mind. I am so happy that we can evac. We would have been so dead. As always, one kill. Poor performance, lost the mission, but got some intel. And there we go. 20 intel, good enough. And I think we're like relatively punctually at the end of the month. And of course, there is a resistance. Yeah, we, we really don't have any incentive to go and do it whatsoever. Like we're not getting anything. We're already at minus 500 income. Uh, you know what, we're only 25 minutes in. Might as well do the month end now. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. While I recognize that you've been placed in a difficult situation, Commander, our continued failings over the last month have left... So, she's trying to collect um, soldiers in combat. He's going to launch an attack, so... We might want to prevent that. 
reports indicate one of the Chosen is directly tracking our position, Commander. They're nearly ready to strike at the ship. Things are going so well. Sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. So, there was, the, there was uh, the background sign for one avatar block that uh, went away. Let's see if we can prevent him from invading. Uh, we don't have... We really don't have good rewards this time. Not even... Not even uh, an option to reduce uh, the Avatar project. Hmm. Okay, gotta see what we're going to do. Uh, what we're going to do, but effectively means we got to defend our Avenger. So let's see if the loadout is correct. Good, gatekeeper out of sea, which means we have the highest uh, psi amps. What? We'll reduce the cost of resistance rings holo planner upgrade? We already have that, don't we? have that yet. Ah, I see, I see. Well, we could get another resistance order. I was under the impression we already upgraded it twice. Apparently that was wrong. Okay, let's... Get rid of a few alien alloys. Still want to keep enough that once they are actually interested in it, uh, we're making a lot of money. So with that, we really don't need the breakthrough. As initially, I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Once we have something to report, I'll notify you immediately. There we go with the Holo Planner. We will get another resistance order. Avenger plotting new course. on the avatar project if we're going to slow them down we'll need to move fast there we go progress slowed down by two let's see what our rewards are this time um facility lead is certainly something that i could get behind Increasing the faction's influence is something that I could see. This is probably going to take um, precedence because we get plus one sniper damage. And this here is also going to take preference. The health is good. I like that. Still wanted to disband Praetor Mox, and I think we need to do that. Oh, by the way, of course we're going to do it with Dr. Anoxus. Yeah, that will be easy. My followers will lead this action to victory. 
Now Praetor Mox unfortunately is still a squaddy and if we dismiss him we might be able to get a new one that is of uh, colonel rank. Okay. The big event uh, this month will probably be the attack on our Sky Ranger. Look at that, Ed Galleon Paul. With the white hair this time. Lovely. Uh, yes, domination, thank you. So many good abilities. I personally value sustain pretty high. Basically a second life. Solace, however, was great as well. Yeah, we don't need that. Could go there, but unnecessary. And there we go. So Berserker, Shieldbearer, Heavy Mech, Purifier, Officer, Lancer, Trooper, Andromedon, Archon, Priest, Sectopod. Uh, one thing's for sure where it's not gonna get boring. Uh, Sectopod is a tough opponent, but I think we're going to be fine. Uh, surprisingly high amount of uh, mechanical units here. Anyways, I think we're done for this run, uh, or for this episode, not for this run, of course. Uh, we're instead going to go and now defend the Avenger for the fifth time, no, sixth time, third time that we're being shot down. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's uh, against a different enemy, and hopefully it is going to be way more easy than the last one. It, I want flat terrain because we need to use our defense matrix. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.